You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV. We're back with another episode, and today we got the New Balance 650. Can't wait to get into it. You already know it's Shoot Your Shot TV, Shoot Your Shot Records, and the New Balance 650. Let's get it. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Shoot Your Shot TV. I'm your host, Paul. Shout out to the producer of the show, C-Rock Behind the Lens. We got my cousin Elias in here hanging out. And I got a haircut. Shout out to the mullets, you feel me? Had to do something different, my hair was busting. Previously on another episode, we said that we've just been stacking up episodes and we have so many that we need to get to. Most of those episodes were New Balance. So what me and C decided to do was make April unofficially, officially New Balance Month for Shoot Your Shot TV. So shout out to New Balance. And if you're familiar with the channel, you know over here we love New Balance. We've reviewed a bunch in the past. Feel free to check all of those out. Moving on, we got the New Balance 650. This shoe originally released back in 1995 and New Balance brought them back in 2019 with a collab with lifestyle brand No Vacancy Inn. And you can only buy the shoes on StockX. They came with a thumb drive that had a curated playlist and I think they were white and tan. And they resold for like, four or $500 because they were so limited. And then New Balance brought a lot of 650s out in a bunch of different colorways. And I came across this pair in white, navy, and teal, and it just looked really cool, really beautiful. I think retail was 80, but I got them on sale for $40, and that's a steal. So that's 50% off. A chunky looking dad shoe, that New Balance aesthetic, you know we love it. Let's take a look at the New Balance 650. Here's the New Balance 650 in the white, navy, and teal colorway. Right off the bat, just gives you that 90s vibe, that athleisure vibe where you know it's not gonna be the best performance shoe, but it has that 90s style that we love over here. And I really like just this colorway. I like the navy N in suede, and I like the mesh in the teal. And it has a non-marking sole, which is, you know, not gonna mark up the basketball court or the handball court, whatever activities you might be out there doing. And it also has that end cap technology that New Balance was famous for in the 90s. Give you that little cushion, that little end cap, no cap. You feel me? You got this pull tab in the back with the NB, and you got that New Balance 650 with this Microsoft Paint logo right here. That looks sick. It looks like some 90s corporate logo. I don't know what this is. It looks like, I don't know. It's cool. Also, 650, I had to get it because my area code out here in South San Francisco is 650. Daily City, the Peninsula, San Bruno, Millbrae. Yee hee. Shout out to the Peninsula, man, 650. It's a very simple shoe. Not too much tech going on. Can't wait to see how they feel on foot. It's classic 90s. We love it. Let's go ahead and try these on. That was our signature on foot look. Crep check really quick. I'm wearing the New Balance 990 V3. And we haven't done an episode on those yet, but I think that might be an episode of a future Holy Grail because it is my favorite 990. When I saw Emily Oberg wearing those for the first time, I was like, what are those? Had to have them. Moving on, if you're familiar, you know over here at Shoot Your Shot TV, I like to take the shoe and break it down into three important categories, comfort, style, and price. So we're gonna jump right into that. Um, as far as comfort goes, it's not the most comfortable shoe. I can definitely feel the end cap technology. It isn't too heavy, even though it does have this bulky, chunky midsole. It's still pretty lightweight on the foot. Not the most comfortable, but it's not uncomfortable. I'm gonna have to give it a three out of five. And as far as sizing goes, these are a nine and a half. I suggest going true to size. If you have a wider foot, maybe go a half size up. Moving on to style. You know, I love this style over here. It's very reminiscent of another dad shoe, but this is New Balance dad shoes. They got the 990s, but if you wanted to take it up a notch, go all white with the premium leather and the suede and the mesh. You can go with the New Balance 650. They got a bunch of colorways out there. This is my style. I'm a dad. 
So shout out all the dads. This is a very cozy dad shoe. I'm gonna have to give this a five out of five as far as style. Moving on to price, I think they retail for $69 or $79, but I got these for $40. There's a bunch of them out there in different colorways. I think they got a white, purple, gold colorway. They got another kind of blue and yellow colorway. And you can get them for anywhere from $70 or less, maybe even cheaper than that. I think I've seen these on StockX for $60. Bucks. I think I got these on some other site for like $40 plus like $8 shipping. Can't beat it. That's a price point we'd love to live in. Bringing us to a five out of five as far as price which gives us a grand total of 13 out of 15 on the Shoot Your Shot rating system. Not bad, not bad at all. And that's our episode for today. Let us know how you guys feel about the New Balance 650s in the comments below. Stay tuned, tons of more New Balance episodes coming out for New Balance Month. Some of these episodes are so old, I might have different hairstyles, I might have a fade, my hair might be getting kind of fuzzy, my hair might be hella long, but that's just how many episodes we have in the tuck. Tons more on the way. Also, as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. We're trying to get these numbers up. Run them up, man. Numbers. Shout out Larry June. We'll catch you guys on the next episode of Shoot Your Shot TV. Again, my name is Paul. Got C-Rock behind the lens. Elias in here chilling. And, okay, let's get it. Out right now. Streaming everywhere. Hey.